Hey guys, how's it going? Um, it's been a little bit since I've done a uh, post, I don't know what I'm going to call it, post recording kind of thing. Except, um, boy, this looks really laggy through my editing stuff. Through Pinnacle G's. <coughs> I've recently re downloaded um, Fraps onto my laptop, and on my laptop I record things from Xbox. Wii, which is pretty much my GameCube thing, PlayStation 2, and my original Xbox. And since then now I have it on here, I can open up the Fraps files so I can record them on my actual computer and then do stuff over them on this one because before that was a huge problem where I'd have to go downstairs to where the, lap er, the laptop, to the, where the computer is. Look at that. See how long that video is. Come over here. Look at what I'm talking about, and uh, do it like that, and just talk over that, and remember everything that's going on. Which also means, if I remember correctly, I can look at, let me check here, I think there will be something coming out very soon, if this is actually a possibility. It will be called uh, Cooking with a Master Chef, maybe, if that is anything to go by. Um... Do I even have it on here? I really hope I didn't get rid of that. I think I did. Uh, oh well. Wasn't that good anyway? Oh well. So never mind that. Um, I might redo that. Probably not. Um, but recently you may have heard of this game that called that called out that came out called Battle Block Theater. I've been playing that like crazy so far. It is a very, 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 very good game. I would suggest you go out and buy it. It's 15 bucks on the Xbox Live Marketplace. Um, it's made by the Behemoth. They made uh, Castle Crashers and um, Alien Hominid, both of which are very good games. I played both of them. Uh, for some reason, Alien Hominid was the only one that really got a full like, retail release, like you could actually buy it for the PlayStation 2, um, but Castle Crashers and, uh, Battle Block Theater are, uh, download-only games, so, I mean, that's kind of, well, not really a disappointment, but not really happy with that, uh, but, I just went and paused there for a second, because I wanted to see if I could change my settings, because the game was kind of lagging, but aside from that, um, Recently, I think like four or five months ago at this point, I think I got a 3DS and I've been playing uh, Luigi's Mansion Dark Dark Moon or Dark the Moon or something like that. Um, it is a very, very good game. Not much different from Luigi's Mansion for the GameCube, but much better. There was a, a thing where you get this flashlight and you would charge it up, and when you charge it up, you could flash it, do like a strong one, like fully charge it, and then release it, and it flashes the entire like area in front of you, or just like press it, and it does a quick flash. Um, that's how you catch ghosts now with, and then you use your um, polter gus to get them. I mean, that's, it's still like the standard, like the normal thing, uh, but instead of just using the flashlight you have to charge it up or not, like quick press it instead of just like having the flashlight always on you then there's a new one uh, another flashlight kind of thing it's uh, I don't remember what it's called the dark light device that's it um, you just shine it in the room and it uh, shows you things that aren't there and then like uh, like little blue orbs come out of it and you have to suck them all up and then you get, then the thing appears in the room, and if you open it, it becomes like an actual thing in there, and or like then you open it, and you probably get like money and stuff from it, or you get like other power ups and stuff. Um, oh wow, my audio is really nice. Oh wow, whatever. Bull crap aside, um, it's a really good game. Um, been playing it a lot. The mansion in it. In Luigi's Mansion for the GameCube, there's just one mansion. In this one, there's like five. 
uh, a bunch of them are pretty big. Like, it definitely, like, to in total has way more than the first Luigi's Mansion game, so that is very good. And you, I even paid less or the same amount for this game as the original Luigi's Mansion game. I also did get Dead or Alive 5. Dead or Alive Beach Volleyball for the Xbox and Extreme 2 for the 360. The last two I'm really disappointed with. Not so much the second one because, I mean, I gotta give it credit. It's the gameplay, the mini games and stuff are pretty good. But other than that, it's horrid. Horribly, horribly, horribly awful. I enjoyed playing, like, the beach volleyball thing. That's the one thing they got right. Everything else is pretty much horrid. Um, that game is disgusting, though. Nah, we're going to play it again, unless I... Well, after I make the review, probably. And that's um, kind of it as far as what I've been playing goes. The second thing that I wanted to bring up was Lucas Arts recently got closed down, and I'm really kind of disappointed with that. And so Star Wars 1313, I think it was. That's canned. And so pretty much any hope of getting a new Star Wars, like a good game, has been thrown out the window. It's gone because Lucas Arts was starting to get it back around. They were doing some good stuff and. Uh, Disney closed them down, and so I hate Disney now. Um, and I also hate George Lucas, but that's beside the point, because Jar Jar Binks. Worst character to ever be in a video game ever, at any given point, at any time. Um, also, um, oh gosh. I got Kirby Mass Attack from Best Buy for like seven bucks. That was pretty awesome. Uh, the game is much, 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 much different from any other Kirby game I've ever played. Um, no, I have not played Epic Yarn yet. Uh, yet. I can get it, but I'm not right now. And also, this is going out. I should probably explain what I'm doing with these videos. Obviously, I'm just talking over, like, explaining what I'm doing and what's going on with the channel and stuff like that. Kind of like an update video, but not really. Um, on Tuesday, I will be putting out a Dead Space video, <coughs> which I'm really excited about because I got Dead Space 1, 2, and 3. 3. I played 3, and it is, gosh, it is awful. You don't even start out, I'm, I'm not even going to say anything right now. No. You guys, I won't just say don't buy it. Don't buy it brand new because it is definitely not worth $60. I bought it new, but I got it for 40 bucks because GameStop. You know, uh, and that's pretty much it as far as GameStop goes, but Dead Space 3 is horrid. The new Devil May Cry game is... I also got that is bad. I mean, oh my gosh. I have mixed feelings about it. The pistols in it, I pl like, one, one of the pistols are, like, weak, like, almost, like, they're kind of strong, except they're still pretty much useless. This one, they're even more useless, to the point of that they don't even, like, string or combo along. I mean, it's horrid. Um, so, the combat in it is also very easy if you're playing a normal. Um, I think I maybe got hit three or four times in the beginning, and that's because I wasn't paying attention. The second thing is, the difficulty on it is way too easy. The combat is too simple. Even though it's much more fluid, um, the art style is much better, though. I just have a lot of different complaints about it. Um, and it makes me really sad, because I had heard so many great things about it. And then I played it in... Like, I was, I'm going back, and I'm going to play through, um, Devil May Cry 1, 2, 3, and 4, and then play Devil May Cry, Devil May Cry, it's the dumbest name ever, except I was playing through 1, I got to, like, the third, like, level on it, 
that there's like immediately a boss, and that boss is hard. Like it's incredibly hard to beat. Like it's still it's still beating me up, and um, I played the first level of Devil May Cry. Devil May Cry. There's immediately a boss, except that boss. It's like I think I got hit once, and that might have been it. I mean, it wasn't good. So yeah, that was definitely disappointing. Um, what else have I got here? Really, that the no, Lucas Arts thing really was uh, really kind of sad because Lucas Arts was they made really crap, but they made some good stuff. Not much good stuff, but um, you know. Oh, I should explain. Uh, Eternal Darkness. Where did I put that? Oh, I see it. Eternal Darkness will be coming back. I'm actually going to record some, like, as soon as I'm done with this thing. Because I have not played that in about a month. Maybe two. And so, yeah, that definitely needs to come back. And. Oh, I also got Fable 1 and 2. I picked up Fable 2 for about $5, $3 at... No, it was like $2 at GameStop. I had it listed as like $3. And I got a discount, so I got like $2.63 or something. Worth it. But I... I didn't... I wouldn't pay for Fable 3. I wouldn't even buy that if it was a dollar. I got it with my Xbox for... for not really free. I also have two copies of Reach now because one came with the Xbox as a download and I bought the other one before I got the Xbox. And so, yeah, there's that. That's, I got two copies of that. Um, what else do I have here? Um, Deadly Premonition. Deadly Premonition. That game is crazy. Like, I, I don't even know what to say about it. It's so weird. It's like... Um, oh my gosh. Like... It's like... Whatever that game is called. Resident Evil 5. It's like Resident Evil 5. It's like every single Resident Evil game. Like where you get the over... Like the... Top down view. Like behind the character view, third person, and then when you aim, you go into that first person kind of thing, or like over the shoulder. It's like that. It's a survival horror kind of game. Um, the beginning cutscene. I will say I totally called that like right in the beginning as I was watching it. I totally knew what was going on with that. Um, but as soon as I started playing the game, I was I didn't know where that thing was going. It is very good. It the graphics are poo poo, but um, that's because it's kind of old and it was meant meant for PSP. But uh, they just combined the PSP and the Xbox 360 version into one, so it got really poo poo sales. But um, I I really like the game. It's a really good game. It's like a cult classic, I guess you'd say definitely deserve more. It's such a good game. Um, that's all I really have to say about it. It's a fantastic game. I don't have many problems with it at this point. Um, other than that, it was really good. Like, the graphics were the only thing right now that I'm disappointed with. And I really don't even care about graphics. Um... And on with that, I've been getting a lot of uh, horror games lately. I got Dead Space. I got the Dead Space games. Deadly Premonition. Um, gosh, what else do I have? Um, I got grabbed by the Ghouls for free, so I <coughs> might see that. And um, what else do I have? Um, Fable 3 is a horror game because of how bad it is. I've been mean, you know about it. Um, 
but as far as horror games go, I don't have a whole lot. I do have a, uh, three Dragon Ball Z fighting games though, so, because I'm a huge fan of that. Budokai, Budokai 2, and Ten Kaichi, Ten Kaichi, whatever. Whatever that one is, um, I wanted to get three, except three was kind of expensive, and I didn't want to pay ton of dollars for it. Um, so yeah, there is that. It is... I should explain though before this ends, you can see in your top right, the top right corner of the video there, I usually, it doesn't matter what game is put over it, I just, today I played Blood Bowl, and I was like, uh, play, I only played that, you can see in the top right there it says 8 out of 16 and 7 out of 16, it is one play until halftime, and at halftime the video is over, so, um, yeah, I should just explain that. I'll usually do these with, like, RTS or turn-based strategy. Really, just any strategy game. Um, so, yeah. Have a nice day. And the next one will come out on Thursday. So, uh, bye.